My name is Bob Hughes. I work for Schweitzer Engineering Labs, and I'm going to explain to you how we retrofit an SCL 849 into a motor control center. This motor control center, when we received it, had a non-communicating electronic overload relay. And what we did was we replaced this relay with the SCL 849. To do this uh, requires that we remove the old relay, install the SCL 849, and rewire it into the uh, contactor. The first thing that we needed to do to install the 849 was remove the old relay. And fortunately, the old relay was installed on a DIN rail, and a DIN rail is a standardized mounting hardware. Fortunately, the 849 fits on that same DIN rail, so we didn't have to drill any holes or cut any sheet metal. We just snapped the 849 on the existing DIN rail. Then the next step is we had to remove the existing wiring and then install wires connecting the SCL 849 to the motor control center. Uh, we have a power circuit, so we need to bring power to the SCL 849. That comes in right down here. We take power from the MCC either at this uh, terminal block or on the um, power control transformer up here. So one of our wire pairs is, uh, is powering the relay. A second circuit is we need to be able to energize the coil in the motor control center contactor. And uh, that is this uh, wire here that runs to the contactor terminal. And when this contact output closes, the contactor energizes and the motor starts. And then our last circuit that we have to connect is we have to connect the 849 to the auxiliary contact from the contactor that tells us whether the motor is running or stopped. And that goes right here to this aux contact over here, back to the um, 849. Once we have completed installing all of those wires, we uh, use wire ties to fasten the wires down and uh, make it look good. Uh, after we've completed wiring it, then we want to test it out with our digital voltmeter to make sure that uh, we wired it correctly and we're not going to have any shorts when we energize the MCC for the first time. We use the SCL3421 HMI to control the SCL849. It's really easy to connect. Uh, we plug an Ethernet cable into the back of the 3421 HMI, plug the other end into the HMI port on the 849, and then uh, the display comes on. And once we've done this, we can actually test that this motor control center contactor works correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the motor, and I press the start key here. I confirm yes that I want to do that. And we hear the starter pull in. The contactor's pulled in, and we know that um, we have wired this correctly. And then we want to now stop it. So we press the stop button, then we press the enter and we hear the contactor release. And so there we've used the SCL 3421 with the SCL 849 to confirm that we have successfully installed the 849 into the motor control center. It was really easy to install the SCL 849 into this motor control center. We simply had to remove the old relay, install the SCL 849 on the existing DIN rail, wire up the 849 to the contactor and the power supply, test it out with a digital voltmeter, and then uh, finally test proper operation using the 3421 HMI.